Am I the arsehole? For leaving a pregnant woman outside of her doctor's office without a ride home? Not the arsehole. Because this. She kept deleting the address and then handing me the phone again. That just smells wrong to me. Not the arsehole. Pregnant or not, she was still a stranger and I believe in trusting your instincts. You tried several times to help to no avail. Your priority is to get your own child home safely. She can call someone else. Not the asshole. She kept asking me to stay and help her. You won't let me. Not the asshole. That seems sus. You try to help. It was more important to take your son away from there. Not the asshole. Your son is your number one responsibility. You protected yourself and your son. I don't trust anyone these days. I think she wanted you to give her money. Not the asshole, as I left I might have called the police non-emergency line and asked if they could send assistance but doesn't sound like much more you could have done especially with a child in the car. Not the asshole. I smell a scam. This sounds like a scam. Kudos to you for trying to help her and more kudos for walking away. Not the asshole. Natar hopefully she found someone else who was able to help her. Clearly you had a communication problem. My paranoid side says she was keeping you there for a carjacking. Or maybe she just wanted a lift to some out of the way place. I like to be kind but this situation makes me feel uncomfortable. Not the asshole. This sounds extremely sus. Sounds like she was trying to invite herself into your car. The deleting of the address multiple times is just odd. I think you did all that a person could reasonably be expected to do in that situation and kept your wits about yourself and your son. Not the asshole. You did all you could. I would have stopped after the second attempt. Not the asshole. You did what you could. She could have asked the receptionist for help if she really needed it so it does seem sketchy. Sounds like she was up to something. She was trying to get an invite into your car. So many ways for that to go wrong. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. My take. She was clearly going to use an Uber. At worst. Her language skills are so poor that it made it an ordeal. Okay at worst she was a scammer but in terms of you being the asshole this would be a good thing. She was in a safe place. A doctor's office. At this point it's on the doctor and their receptionist to help set her up with an Uber. Nutter you don't owe a stranger anything least of all when they won't accept the help you offered. Sounds like she was looking for a free ride home, hoping that you would give up on trying to sort out her Uber ride offer to drive her home. Are sure the Uber driver was legit? It was probably her scam partner and you did the right thing by going home. Not the asshole. Not the asshole. Who's to say she is really pregnant? Natar. You were more than patient with her. She could have gone back to the doctor for help, or phoned a friend. Not the asshole, not sure what the scam was, but seems like one was coming. Natar. She was trying to scam you or worse. Not the asshole. You can't help people who don't want to be helped. Not the asshole ever for exiting a situation which was uncomfortable and potentially dangerous. If she'd just left the doctor's office where presumably there is someone on staff who can communicate with her to some extent, she can go back in and ask for help. Her behavior was odd. Not the asshole. I would have been wary after she kept deleting the address. I would have just pulled up Google Translate on my phone and shown her she needs the correct address. If she refused after that, then the next words typed would have been. Sorry I can't help anymore. Not the asshole like others have said this seems very suspicious. I would report it to your daycare so they can warn others. Maybe also contact the doctor's office and let them know one of their patients maybe not even theirs if it was a scam was doing this. Natar. This is sketch as shit. It sounds like they were stalling to keep you there. 
I wonder if the Uber driver was actually an Uber driver and not someone she was working with off screen to do some kind of heist or kidnapping. You did the right thing by getting the fuck away. Not the asshole. You don't know her. She was acting pretty weird. Sounds sus to me. Not the asshole. You tried to help and it's completely understandable that your first priority was keeping your kids safe. Her behavior seems sus. That said, where you are, is it necessary to type the pickup address instead of letting the app find the location via GPS? This is sus. In the US doctor's office is close at 5 p.m. unless it's an urgent care. I assume it wasn't 9 a.m. when you picked your kid up. Second, if she speaks a different language, you can set your phone up to be in a different language. I highly doubt somebody who speaks English knows the word fluently. It was a scam. She kept deleting the address on purpose. Scammers target people who are alone. Especially if they have a small child. The mom's instinct will be to protect the child first, and scammers know a woman will hand over everything before she lets somebody harm her kid. Nata, sounds like a scam. Scammy not the asshole. Not the asshole it might be a trap. Even fools know someone tries to help but she keeps deleting and insisting you to ferry. Not the asshole. X200B. She did not want you to help her get an Uber, she wanted to bullshit you into driving her for free. Not the asshole. I keep thinking it sounds like a setup. Who knows what might have happened if you'd stayed. Language barrier or no, it's obvious you tried to help her, and she knew she was deleting the address. It was like she was waiting for someone. Not the asshole you know who could help in this situation? The receptionist in the GP clinic. If you are at all uncomfortable about how someone else is behaving, especially when you are with your child, you GTFO. End of story. You are absolutely not required to understand the situation or help a stranger who is not in life-threatening danger. Taking care of that lady was not your responsibility, taking care of your child is. End of story. Not the asshole definitely. Not the asshole. You're not responsible for anyone but you and your child while it's nice to help when you can, it's not a requirement. She made you uncomfortable, and you left. As you should have. I understand your concerns, but she could speak to someone at the receipt in desk if she felt stranded. Nata. The proximity to you is probably cultural. Americans tend to leave a lot of space between each other. Other cultures not so much. She probably trusted you because mother. But she wasn't understanding or processing something. The only scam I can think of would be if she was trying to get a ride home and then she steals from you or something. Or someone else doesn't she's just the ruse. But I'd c it doesn't seem like it. Not the asshole. She has a phone. She can look up how to correctly call an Uber. How did she even schedule the first Uber then? Not the asshole. That was very strange and suspicious however, I would have called the non-emergency police line or contact someone inside the building itself to assist her further. If you took this any further, I think you could have been in a bad situation. Not the asshole. 